Hi guys, my name is Chad Marshall. Nice to meet you guys. It's for so long that I didn't do a video like this. Today I have a really good experience cutting this morning and it is very inspired me to make this video. I did uh, cutting with my Tashi sword. The Tashi sword that come uh, that made from the USD Kenshin sword which is have a really curved Tashi. Uh, lately, I'm quite really into the straight sword because I think it, it gives me a very good cut, good reach, and very powerful cutting. And I have a background of Chinese martial art for 15 years, so I mostly before I did a straight sword before. When I did a straight sword cutting, it gives me a very good feeling. Everyone have different feeling of the way how to use a sword for cutting but for me I, I quite love and I quite into the straight sword. Today this morning I just bring back the Tashi sword which is very curved today. I did a test cutting in the morning with the water bottles and it turned out it's very interesting with how I do a cut with the curved sword. Firstly I would say a Tashi sword is just feels like the European curved saber for cutting because it, I think it have the same curvable and the same edge cutting and let's think about this way uh, the Tashi is was designed to use on the horseback right and actually it's not the primary weapon it's the secondary weapon or the cross combat weapon which mostly samurai in that time period they don't really use it in the battles so if you don't put yourself in the situation of the close quarter combat you don't have to pull that sword out to slash or something but the point is what i'm trying to say right now is because the coverable of the the tashi at the kamakura period like this tashi that i'm showing you right now that i use for cutting have a very special shape and design of curvable edge so when i swing it i feel like i'm using a whip and it gives me a really good sense of how to swing the saber on the horseback it's very interesting because i think at that time period it's the time of war and battle and they don't have a proper the, the proper formal form or kata like we know now today in the modern time period I think all you want to do is just to slash the sword when you have a sword in the situation right it's just a natural movement and I it gives me a sense of why they're doing a curved sword because it's very easy to swing and slash everything you know and think about yourself in that situation of the war and the battle you don't have time to block sometimes you don't have time to think about where to cut right and it's very because it's a lot of mess and a lot a lot happen right there in the battlefield so you have no time just slash it from the horseback right so it gives me a very sense very makes sense about the feeling how to use the touch it today Anyways, okay, I have a test in this morning. I really want to share this with you. I don't have a proper form of, I, I can't use the katana uh, kata form with this sword because they give me a different movement when I holding it and because of curvable of it, it make me move different. It's almost like a saber or it's almost like a Chinese, Chinese style, a curved style. So I just listen to the sword and I do it naturally for cutting. So let's see the video how I move with this sword and it's really interesting how it's, it cut with the water bottle. Let's see.
Okay guys, I hope this video will help you to see a real natural of how to do a sword curvable cut. I cannot put the proper form of Japanese sword cutting like a modern Meiji period or Edo period in this sword because it can move that way. I think it's very makes sense for me and if you have any opinion or you have any thought just leave it under this video below and give me an exchange and share sword cutting and how you have an experience of the curved sword cutting also okay guys i hope this video will help you and i hope this video will inspire you to do more research about the sword in the ancient time period and thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for supporting i hope to see you guys next time with the next interesting content